linear algebra uh, the first uh, question we are going to discuss about the reduced row echelon form the mat we say that a matrix is in uh, reduced row echelon form a it is in row echelon form plus a column uh, containing uh, row containing leading one then it is the only non zero entry in that column for example if we consider a matrix a here say 1 1 0 0 uh, 1 uh, 0 0 1 0 uh, 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 
claim any solution for that we want this two entry should be zero both the entry should be zero so when this two entry should be zero if k is equal to three if k is equal to three then it has uh, uh, both the entries equal to zero and when it has a no solution if k is equal to uh, minus five if k is equal to minus five then uh, what happened here this is what we get uh, this is what a zero we get this is zero and here we get a uh, minus eight in that case the uh, rank of a b is not equal to rank of a and system has no solution then consider next let t is a mapping from say next question is suppose t is a mapping from say t is a mapping from r square to r square define as t of x y is equal to x y square check whether t is a linear transformation so uh, for linear transformation t of what is the first condition l1 t of u bar plus v bar is equal to t u bar plus a t v bar and t of k u bar is equal to k times t of u bar so first we are going to check the l1 condition for that we take a first uh, one vector from r square say x1 y1 and second vector say v2 uh, v bar is equal to sorry v bar is equal to say x2 y2 then u bar plus v bar is equal to u bar plus v bar is equal to x1 plus x2 and y1 plus y2 and if we apply uh, the linear transformation t how uh, if we apply the transformation t from both side then we get t of u bar v bar is equal to u bar plus v bar is equal to t of x1 plus x2 y1 plus y2 but what is the uh, t map is given the t of x y is given as t of x y equal to x y square so here it is equal to if we apply the mapping t uh, then we get x1 plus x2 and y1 plus y2 bracket square if we simplify this we get x1 plus x2 x2 and 1 plus x2 and y1 square plus 2 times y1 y2 plus y2 square now uh, this is tu bar plus tv bar so what is tu bar here tu bar is equal to uh, t of uh, say x1 y1 what is uh, x1 y1 which is equal to x1 y1 square and what is t of v bar t of v bar is equal to t of x2 y2 which is equal to x2 y2 square now if we add t of u bar plus t of v bar then t of u bar plus t of v bar which is equal to x1 plus x2 and y1 square plus y2 square now from these two equation from these two equation what we can say here t of u bar plus v bar t of u bar plus v bar is not equal to t u bar plus a tv bar and therefore here this is not a linear transformation this given map is not a linear transformation so given map is not linear transformation now next say take one more example example number four okay now now let uh, um, uh, find given set yes is equal to say s is equal to um, this is equal to 1 2 and uh, 3 4 say uh, 3 uh, uh, 3 uh, minus 4 3 minus 4 okay uh, 3 minus 4 uh, give one uh, uh, subset of uh, say vector space um, r square and find ls so linear span so what is the formula for linear span linear span is equal to suppose just contain v, uh, v1 bar v2 bar vectors v2 bar or 3 v3 bar and dot dot n vectors then this is the ls a definition of ls where alpha 1 alpha 2 dot dot alpha n are all scalars okay so here ls is equal to ls is equal to okay alpha 1 1 2 plus alpha 2 3 4 okay where alpha 1 alpha 2 are scalar so this is the definition uh, um, definition 
or by using this formula you can find the linear span of the given non empty set yes example number 5 say uh, s is equal to let t is a mapping from t is a mapping from r square to r square t is a mapping from r square to r square given as t of x y is equal to say t of x y is equal to equal to twice x minus y and at minus at x plus 4y check whether check whether check whether the vector say vector say uh, u bar is equal to say uh, 6 2 uh, belongs to kernel of t so when we said a vector is in kernel of t if t of u bar is equal to 0 is 0 bar if t of u bar is equal to 0 bar then we can say that then we can say that the vector u bar belongs to kernel of t so here so um, here first of all we want to determine t of 6 2 so 6 2 is equal to uh, it is equal to uh, 2 times 6 6 minus 2 and minus 8 into 6 plus 4 into 2 so this is equal to 12 minus 2 it is equal to 10 and this is uh, 48 minus uh, plus minus 48 plus 8 it is equal to minus 40 which is not equal to 0 0 so it is not equal to 0 bar and therefore uh, the vectors u bar which is equal to 6 2 uh, which is equal to sorry u bar is equal to 6 2 does not lie in kernel of t does not belongs to kernel of t now the next example next example let uh, is uh, the set want to check next example say is the set set uh, r square is equal uh, v s is equal to say 1 2 3 uh, 9 uh, minus 1 4 4 uh, mm, 4 uh, linearly dependent uh, of r square is linearly independent now if this uh, now as we know that dimension of r square is equal to 2 and set s contain more than two vectors and therefore set s is what it is a linearly dependent set s is linearly dependent 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 so it is not linearly independent so it is not linearly independent because what is the condition here because set s yes contain and here what is justification here the justification is uh, justification is the set s yes contain set s yes contains more than two vectors vectors and dimension what is the dimension of that is uh, set s contain uh, dimension of r square is equal to what two so it contain more than two vector and therefore the given set s is what linearly dependent not independent now the next example next example let uh, let's set uh, let here v is equal to r cube uh, r square and w is given collection of all x y belongs to r uh, x y belongs to r square such that x less than y check whether w is a subspace of r square check whether w the set uh, subset w is subspace space of r square So the W contain say uh, the what is the uh, condition on W? W contain say one two uh, uh, x coordinate is less than y coordinate. Say here minus three uh, minus five. Okay, minus three minus five. Then uh, say uh, uh, sorry minus five minus three minus five minus three. Then uh, say uh, uh, zero one. Say four, uh, five, like this vector. 
so you want to check whether um, this uh, this is a service space or not so if we take here say u bar is equal to u bar is equal to 1 minus 1 and v bar is equal to minus 1 1 okay then um, sorry not sorry here if we take say not u bar is equal to say u bar is equal to take say here uh, 6 and uh, 9 okay and if we take here um, uh, alpha is equal to take alpha is equal to minus 1 by 3 then we get alpha u bar is equal to alpha u bar is equal to uh, uh, minus 6 by 3 and minus 9 by 3 which is equal to my uh, minus 2 minus 3 but here uh, minus 2 is not less than minus 3 and therefore it is not a subspace not subspace it is not close under scalar multiplication so this this is not less than minus 2 not less than minus 3 and therefore it is not a subspace so what is the explanation here if we consider vector u bar is equal to 6 9 if we take alpha is equal to minus 1 by 3 then where alpha is what scalar then it does not satisfy condition and therefore it is not a subspace now take one more example uh, let b is equal to say b is equal to b is equal to say 1 0 and uh, 1 2 to basis for r square r square and given u bar b the coordinate vector of u bar is equal to minus 2 3 find u bar so what is given here alpha 1 alpha 2 is given alpha 1 alpha 2 are given and we want to determine what is the uh, u bar b condition here if if if, if v bar is v1 bar is equal to say v1 bar is equal to v1 bar equal to 1 0 and v2 bar is equal to say uh, 1 2 then if we write say if we write alpha 1 v1 bar if we write u bar is equal to alpha 1 v1 bar plus alpha 2 v2 bar and if we solve this for alpha 1 alpha 2 then uh, we get u bar b is equal to alpha 1 alpha 2 so here alpha 1 alpha 2 is given and we want to determine what is the u bar here so we want to determine u bar so what is the u bar here u bar is equal to alpha 1 u1 bar plus alpha 2 u2 bar so here u1 uh, alpha 2 v1 bar plus alpha 2 v2 bar so say v1 bar okay so uh, u bar is equal to alpha 1 what is what is given alpha 1 coordinate vector is given minus 2 so these are the value of alpha 1 alpha 2 this is the value of alpha 1 and this is the value of alpha 2 so minus 2 minus 2 into 1 0 minus 2 first vector min, uh, 1 0 and alpha 2 is equal to 3 into second vector 1 2 3 into second vector 1 2 so if you simplify this u bar is equal to minus 2 0 plus 3 6 so it is equal to minus 2 plus 3 and 0 plus 6 so it is equal to 1 6 so the u bar is equal to what u 1 6 so this is what a coordinate <coughs> u bar is equal to uh, 1 6 so what is the coordinate uh, vectors of 1 6 it is equal to uh, minus 2 3 that is if we solve again say so this is answer but if you solve again if we express say alpha 1 uh, v1 bar plus alpha 2 v2 bar is equal to u bar then alpha 1 what is vector first 1 0 first vector is 1 0 and second vector is 1 2 alpha 2 1 2 is equal to 1 6 second vector is what 1 2 then we get alpha 1 plus alpha 2 and uh, 2 alpha 2 is equal to 1 6 so from this if we uh, equate the LHS and RHS we get alpha 1 plus alpha 2 is equal to 1 and 2 alpha 2 is equal to 6 so from this we get alpha 2 is equal to 3 and if we substitute alpha 2 is equal to 3 we get alpha 1 is equal to what minus 2 so what is the coordinate vector here the coordinate vectors is of with respect to basis B is equal to minus 2 sorry minus 2 3 
so here coordinate vector is given coordinate uh, vector of u bar are given which is equal to what minus 2 3 want to determine vector u bar so what is u bar here u bar is equal to 1 6 thank you